Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Lumi and we are again in War Thunder. And uh, today uh, I wanted to, since it is the start of the second part of Operation Summer, I wanted to let you know what's up with that. Now, if you did participate in the beginning and if you checked the site, you probably know all of this, but for some people it's still not clear. Now, if you go to the shop and to the inventory right up here, you can check out the workshop and in the workshop usually you, know, you have your old stuff like the soccer ball and all the, all the other stuff that you could have and now and then you will have an assembling the T34E assembling the i7 and the exchange items section now if you have done the first part you will have the T34 blueprint and the hull blueprint for the IS7 the IS7 turret blueprint you will only get once you have built the T34E. Now for building, as you can see, all you see is materials. You don't see more than that. And uh, that is because as you get to unlock them and unlock more and build more stuff, you will uh, get uh, the um, more of these uh, blueprints unlocked, actually uh, of parts, I guess. They have, oh, components, they call them components. Now, you get always the same materials, but they are specific, so the IS-7 materials and the, I, uh, the T-34E materials are not compatible. So, if you are playing Tier 2 and 3, um, now, what they tell you on the side is that you need to have 50% or more of activity, but it's not sufficient. You need to have 50% of activity or more, and at least 10 minutes in a game. And you basically get... Um, you get parts for each 10 minutes. No, don't think that if you stay 20 or 30 in the same game, you will get more. That is not the case. Um, the way those parts fall or uh, drop are kind of like one, two or three. And I think it's gonna be uh, a bit more for the IS-7. Now, for, for getting the coupon, you need to build a few parts, like the, the first ones you see once you've got gathered your first material is going to be the V2 engine and the T34 transmission. Now, the T34 transmission, you will have different recipes and you kind of have to unmark all of the recipes. And you can see here, assembling is going to take one minute for this and one minute for that. If you're wrong, uh, you get all of your parts back. But here's the deal, if you have a look at them, for instance, this is, I already marked them as incorrect, I could unmark it, but um, there's a final drive, there's an engine clutch, this is all parts of transmission, uh, essentially, and not for an engine. So if you, I would, I built an engine clutch and a final drive for my recipe here, but assuming I have built it already for this, thinking this would have been the recipe and I do the wrong recipe, those parts you can't really assemble them into anything other than themselves. So you kind of have to make sure you know the recipe. And the best way to do that is to take a look at the, and I'll actually, I'll put it up, the Reddit. Uh, I found this Reddit, which is a quite nice, um, where they have been, it's called the Operation Summer Recipes. And um, they, they are um, guessing some of the recipes. They have a link to a site, for instance, here of the T-34 tank, where you can get like a lot of technical details about transmission brakes and all of those stuff, and you can guess the right amounts of everything. Uh, if we get back, you have a few more tricky ones. Uh, for instance, I think, yeah, there they are. Hopefully they corrected the whole recipe. They have, uh, they get to a point where they got the gun recipe already correct, the transmission and the engine. But they're taking a guess at the chassis re recipe but you can see here you need 20 springs so the amount of parts you will need is gonna it's gonna be really big and for now the cannon they really don't know which one is gonna be i guess they said the gun recipe is correct so i guess that's the cannon and the hull is not confirmed so they really don't know but it's all about guessing and being able to do mistakes this is about the part Go to the Reddit, it's it's really gonna make your life a whole lot easier. I'm just gonna pull up back the chat. And then, if uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into a game. Now, you might wanna just play normally, 
and that's gonna be fine but you're gonna take way longer if you want to do this efficiently you will need to play normally you can't just sit in your in your um, in your spawn area because it will get zero points and zero uh, activity and it's not gonna be enough you need to get out there you need to at least get a cap get a kill it's a brilliantly you can finish in a plane or in a tank it doesn't matter as long as they are the proper rank uh, you will still get the parts as long as the game lasts 10 minutes and as you see the time left it started at 25 minutes so you need to basically get I mean, we need to get in this game to 15 and then you can just jump out it is ugly for people who are not uh, caring about the event and really want just to um, to play and then have a bunch of their teammates just leave at 10 minutes um, but this is how Gaijin decided to do their event and there's really nothing we can change about that. So we're going to try and get that one kill over there. Ah. The ranger was alright but he was way too far out. There we go. Ooh, okay, that was dangerous. Still trying to shoot. There he is. Ah, okay, it's that guy. We actually bounced him, which is quite surprising, to be honest. Oof, okay. Can we hit that? Yes, we can. It goes command a loader. We have the right range. We could try it again. We got a loader again. Very well. Now, if we don't get the right hand side, the gunner is gonna be hard. Got the cannon breach. It's gonna move. It's gonna move away. It's not gonna be a threat anymore. Let's see. For that 80 long 88, where he is. There he is. Oh, look at that move. We bounced again. That is magical. Oh, I got a gun breach, but we got his vertical cannon drive. I'm gonna retreat and repair this. And as you can see, we already have two and a half minutes that have passed. Seven and a half more. And then you can just jump out. And you can get one, two, or three parts. And then we'll get right into showing you how the the building things works and then we'll try to finish that KV once we got our gun breach and the, gu and the gun reloaded and I think the event in itself is pretty poorly constructed I must admit because it really focuses on selfish play just to try and stay alive oh that was close rather than actually killing stuff I don't think that KV can actually penetrate us got a driver again now he's locked can finish the job horizontal turret drive Oh, that Dika Max just got us right where, where he needed to. That was that guy. That was actually tough to see. Now, if we can get him in the plane, we may be able to finish him off. Uh, not enough for the bow fighter, but enough for the Spitfire. So let's take that one out. Uh, we still need to stay alive for six minutes. Uh, I feel confident with the Spitfire that we can do it. We have an enemy plane. Because if I don't get to respawn and the game finishes before the 10 minutes, I will not get any parts. Even if my activity is pretty high. Right now it is not. Got some guy. He's, he's going up. So. We have the maneuverability. So once we get him in a turn fight. We should be fine. He's coming for us. We're going to keep that speed up. And not climb. Finish the 8.8. .8. Seriously, that thing survives everything.
I'm trying to see him as the, the same time as I maneuver. Oh, fuck that. Like, the only thing he really didn't need to hit. And we're out. So here, here's a perfect example of how not to get the parts if you get fucked. Oh, we actually still have the Crusader, so we can actually stay four more minutes and maybe get our revenge. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's why I had this one cheap. So we can actually do something against that. But our team seems to be winning. I don't know if we will last those four minutes. Got some critical on him. Yeah, he's, he lost a bit of a wing. I think that was with our shots. He's going down. Oh, right, we got a revenge there. So that gives us a bit more points. Yeah, even if we die now in the Crusader, we can make it back into the Sherman. So you want to make sure to have a lot, a lot of vehicles. To have a lot of opportunities to spawn back in. Take uh, a, a take a light tank if you can. Uh, so that you, you are in the ability of respawning. Don't take twice the same thing. I would be ill-advised. Something over there. You know what that Ziz is trying to shoot at, honestly. But yeah, it's all about surviving. We got like enough points. We got two assists, one plane kill. Um, we won't be at zero anymore. And then once the 10 minute mark is reached, that is in three minutes, we can just get out. And that'll be the parts. And that's the most efficient way of gathering them. I really don't know if I'm gonna go for the IS-7 in the long run, because uh, I, I have a business trip coming up, so I'll be away for two days. And then I have family coming over, so it's gonna be a real pain if I wanna get those 50 games per day. Um, so maybe I'll get the T-34E, or I might get bored the middle of it because this is in the end you are just looking at a timer that's all you're doing uh, in order to be efficient and you're not really that you don't have the head in the game you're not uh, doing your best look at that this truck going just killed the 8.8 .8. well done I don't know if someone's going for see I'll, I'll drop some artillery on it if needed there's someone on the top of that hill, another Dicker Max. Ooh, for a second I thought there was a tank here. We might actually be able to get the Dicker Max with our RT and then... Yeah, we got like 1 minute and 40 seconds and we can spawn back into Sherman if we lose this. So, we're just gonna make it a bit more interesting. And Oh, hello! That guy had like... Perfect view and our RT was on the wrong spot. don't know if he'll try again we have how much 40 millimeters only of penetration here well done damn that's this truck maybe we will we'll be able to get a whirly instead oh a couple of them no not oh, not the weapons gonna hide right here and repair our gun breach oh that's a long repair with three crew members even I don't know if he's gonna try. We can't go through the front or do anything. <laughs> we want to make it out alive 35 more seconds. What? Where did that sh shot come through? Oh, uh, it hit me in the left of the turret. Uh, it probably wasn't as hidden as I thought. 25 more seconds. We'll get back out in the Sherman. And just, I mean, what are the repair costs on this thing? 1,500. So if you have stock vehicles, it's the time to take them out because you're going to lose them and they're going to be cheaper to replace. Now, 
Five more seconds. So, 10 minutes. There we go. The chat saying 10, 11. No reason to stay anymore. And that's how you do it. And now for some reason, nah. There you go, one part. That's the one you will get the most. Now, if you have chosen your recipe, for instance, now I need a, uh, what is this, a gearbox? And for that, I need five materials. But um, if I, I know this is the, the correct one. Actually, I think it is the one. Engine, fuel pump, oil pump, let's have a look. Electric starter and generator. Yeah, so that's the right one. Uh, I could build a generator with one part. I could build an electric starter. So all of these actually, well, and the engine again requires five. So this is nine parts for this, and I need four more. So thirteen. If I thirteen matches, if I get one per match, and then you just go right into the battle again. And that's what you do. Uh, you keep just. You just keep on in there, try to, to have the games last, last 10 minutes. The most upsetting ones uh, can be the ones where you only have one cap. Because if the al your allies or the enemies cap that cap at the very beginning, and you never get to capture that again, the game is over in less than 10 minutes. And then you don't get anything. So... If you see, it's also it's a, a game that is kind of getting lost with a single cap. It might be a good call to to just get back to the hangar or die quickly so that you don't get the crew lock. And um, this is the way to do it. I will take the Sherman, or actually I will take the Achilles out again. We are top BR with 4.0, which is uh, very nice. Uh, I think, I'm wondering where I could go, but I think I'll go, I'm going to go to the left hand side of B. We have decent amount of armor, uh, we have a very very good gun at this BR, 170mm, which now with the AP buff since the French are in, is so much better. So, that's how you, that's how you just, just get your games going. Um, it's it's a pity uh, that they don't make it time based. Uh, I mean, it is time based in the sense that you need ten minutes. Let's put this back up so we got the music. Um, but it, it should be time based in the sense like ten minutes is the minimum, and then you get more parts for each time you spend uh, more in the game. Uh, there was some someone uh, I saw someone saying that you get one part for over 50, two for over 70, and three for over 90. I really, it, it really doesn't matter. I was in a game where I stayed from the beginning till end. I was first. I had 97% activity. Uh, it lasted 16 minutes. I only only got one part. So the the amount of parts that drop is totally random. There's really no way of influencing it. And the the minimum that you need to stay in the game is 10 minutes. The rest is, is up to chance. Okay, can't really hear this song. Everyone kind of had the same idea as me. Artillery is being a bit of a bitch. Oh, there we go, number one. This gun depression is really, really nice. If the second one uh, pushes in, we'll take care of it. There we go. And we got the engine, the gunner. So if we retreat a little bit, should be able to get the rest. Oh, okay, that that is an impervious piece of rock. I'll go for the gunner again. Now he can't see us, he can't move. There we go. Two kills. Very easily. At low BR you will not have trouble to stay 10 minutes. High BR might be more problematic. Now we don't want to be too... Uh, too effective. Because we don't want a game that, too, that ends too quickly. Where is that tank? Oh, there he is. I don't know if I can actually shoot him. Mm, 
This turret is way, way slow. Okay, I think he got the Stuck. Yeah. Panzer 3 there is dead. And this is it. It's fine if we lose A. It's fine if we lose C. It's all about the 10 minutes. That's what it is. I really you don't need to know that much more to be successful. I saw him shoot straight at the red line, so we're gonna try the same. He actually moved. There's some sort of AA over there. Should be able to survive it. Oh, how did that not hell break? 170 millimeters, come on! Okay, whatever was down there went there, I believe. Okay. I think this is pretty much in a lockdown right now with these two T-34s. Uh, I've almost had five minutes pass, but it's still five more. Does look like there's someone down there. But I don't see him. No. That Shug actually died before we shot it. Left hand side looks clear. That's someone near the AA. Uh, that my ally actually there's a another AA it seems right we're gonna take a leap of faith here should be fine perfect like a leopard pouncing I'm gonna just move towards a five and a half minutes over we I mean those ten minutes pass quickly in the, when you are winning um, and when you're having a good easy time when you're top BR, but when you are uh, Suffering it's it's really not that great So choose the BR for the nation you're at that is actually the best for you with the vehicle that you think is the best for you Okay, we are losing B I'll try and, and engage. Oh Did Someone just saved my ass That's this 12 is completely Unaware of what's happening in B, it seems. We're still cap. They're still capturing it. So there's a medium tank over here. Okay, got killed. I'll try and capture. I think once I'll have enough points. I'll go out in a... Uh, oh, I don't even have that many points. 670. I could get back in the AA. And there's still 3 minutes left. So, we'll actually J out. We'll take the bow fighter. Just so that we get some variety. And then... Um, I can get out. If, if I die in the bow fighter, we can still get back in the uh, Crusader. Oh, well now we're gonna go for stealth. Okay, we got stealth shells all all around. 26 millimeters of penetration. We'll see if there's an enemy plane. There is. We'll go for a frontal assault or not. He actually doesn't want to engage. It seems. Two and a half minutes left, and then we'll move on. And if you don't, if you do the calculations, and if you you don't spend any time outside, oh, the BF 109 just crashed for a reason. Uh, and you don't spend any time uh, in between games, you just go straight to battle. Uh, you can count, if you want to do 50 battles a day, it's 500 minutes. And that's uh, close to 8.5 hours, something like that. Are you kidding me? Like one shot, that's, that's all that, that was needed.
Uh, there was even an enemy plane behind me. But that, that single AA shot from all the way over there, that got my wing. I was an absolute bitch. What's the time? We still need to survive one and a half minutes. So with the AA, now I need to be careful. Anything that will be around here that can take me out is going to be a problem. I'm going to artillery over there. I feel like there could be someone. He's coming for us. Let's just... Uh, Nope. Allied plane, 50 seconds and then we're out. At this point it's really because the likelihood that I touch him is very reduced. So it's just as, it's just the same if I don't do anything. I don't think these shells actually have the range. They seem to disappear. Mm, there, I don't know. It didn't. It didn't crash yet. Ten seconds. So that's just right. Ten minutes out. There we go. Ten o five. And that's it. Let's see. One, two, or three parts. How much will we get? 81% one part uh, oh okay we got something destroy 20 enemies ah okay I'm still getting some of the the tasks because they still extend so now we have two parts for this I, I need still three more so we'll get straight right into battle I'm just wow. Oh, I wanted to check. I was wondering if I'm actually losing or gaining money with this. And we're on Kuban again. But if you have like any any more doubts on on the uh, operation, just ask me ask me questions. Um, I'll I'll get back to you uh, in stream or afterwards. If you still have something, you can always leave a comment on the the video that the stream will create and I will try to answer it to the best of my knowledge uh, you can see the stream started about half an hour ago we got two parts because we got uh, we were talking a bit at the beginning and we started the third game right now but this is a 25 minutes game so watch out for bigger maps like um, Magino it starts at 30 so you don't need to go all the way down to 15, you need to only get, go down to 20. So you need to pay attention how it starts, uh, so that you don't get uh, cheated on that amount of time. Now, big maps have the advantage that you spend a whole lot of time driving. And activity is calculated with the amount of time you spend in the game, but also your relative position to other players. Now, the 10 minutes... Is something that they don't say in the in the in the explanations because 10 minutes are there for avoiding abuses because you would just go on in get one kill see your first get out and you get an activity the activity is nev never never uh, retroactive it's always um, kind of an estimation of what you did up until that point now this is a problem for us. We'll just wait for him. I don't think he's gonna pop back up over there. I think he is way more likely to try and shoot us from below. But it did seem like a puma. From what I could I could see. If it is a pack wagon, that's a bit more problematic. A puma, we might be able to bounce. 
It is a pack wagon. So we actually can shoot through this rock, which is really, really shit as, ma as map designs go. I hope someone will get an assist on them. There we go. But yeah, sometimes you should do just that, you know? Try your MGs. If the MG fire goes through, your gun will go through as well. Got one guy down there. Ah, uh, but not enough depression. Yes, it was. Okay, we got someone else on C. Four minutes only on the clock, so we don't want to be too aggressive. We want to still survive it for a while. I don't want to see what's that C. Ah, see, actually, it seems to be empty right now. There's a Panzer IV. A lot of artillery fire. We're gonna wait for the Panzer F4 over here. Attention to the map. Yeah. If he decides to pop out, there he is. Someone just tried to shoot at us now. It was a plane. It was a duck. He bounced off of us. Ooh, there was a panzer on top there. There's another one below. We saw that gunfire. Okay, barely five minutes over. Captured the zone. We're gonna try and look for him. Okay, uh, I think that was the guy. He went up and then back around, and he's gonna go and capture C now. So I want to be ready, anticipate his, his approach. There he is. Okay, I, I was like, let's just try it. He's going to be somewhere in the middle in between the building. And it did succeed. These buildings you can't shoot through with this AP shell, no questions asked. Right, we're going to get another cap out of this. There we go. Hello, you. Oh. Well, that's fine. We we have four minutes to go. I think we have enough to get in a bow fighter and back in an A. Plenty, actually. We could even get back in the Spitfire as well. So we're gonna take those four minutes to see what we can do. There's a lot of enemy AA, so we're gonna start going a bit upwards and getting speed straight off the bat so that we don't have a repeat of the last game don't see oh yeah there is actually an enemy plane so the a36 is on them but the a36 seems to have some kind of trouble no we actually got him it was a bf 110 That guy is behind a rock. I don't know if you saw it, but I did. Now the question is, where are those AAs? Can we do something against them? I agree. We are facing... Oh, enemy plane. I want to go for the head-on. I'm all up for that against that BF-109. He's actually going to go for the loop against the Corsair. Flaps. 
We got some hits on him. Not enough to get the kill. We have a turret if he gets a beat on us and we are getting helped out. Not enough. It's the tail on this doesn't really help you turn that much. There is. I think this is our shot. Got an assist. I think. No, actually. Well, not even an assist, even though we got some shots on him. That is really annoying. Oh, we got an enemy behind us. Flaps on again. Power. Let's try to help out at A36. Gonna turn to face. One minute. Uh, I'm not turning fast enough. I did actually. Woo! Like luckily his wing broke off, tore off before he actually. Otherwise he would have he would have hit us. One more minute and ten seconds, and we're out. See the Corsair. Let's see if we can actually engage something on the ground. Like enemy AA. Don't see another plane. 50 more seconds in, we're out. With an extra part in our pocket. Our pocket. Either or. Right. I don't think, yeah, the, the game is gonna be. It's gonna last enough. So 30 more seconds. Don't think any other planes coming in. I do not see anyone else. Oh, there seems to be some sort of AA. Actually, that is just a medium tank. 15 seconds, enemy plane. We're gonna go for the heads on. Now, I could exit already. This is a Junkers. Oh, we got plenty of shells. We can actually try and snipe this. Oh, that was, it looked like a very nice hit. All right, and we are out. It was a good run. But 10 minutes are over. We don't have the advantage Actually, return to hangar. It's a way faster way of doing it. And we should have one part, at least. I mean, I've gotten t two before in one instance. And there we go, another two. But you can get up to three. So that's good. When you get two, it's good. No, it's really a good good news. This bow fighter is not, it's not really uh, easy to use in high tier battles, so I'm, I'm quite glad to be able to use it in this kind of a parts or components farm. And we have now four, so I need one more. So after this game, we will be able to complete the gearbox and uh, I think it's going to take one minute. But we'll check that that out to make sure. We are now actually full tiered, up tiered at 5.0. But this gun can still hold its own. And this is where I'm saying, this is a one cap game. So if you see that one of our t the teams will get the cap. And it starts at 30, 30 minutes. So it's a longer... Ooh, fat fingers, my bad. Uh, it starts at 30 minutes, so once we reach the 20 minute mark, we can actually get out. But we need to make sure that if one team captures the cap, it doesn't keep it for the entirety of the game. Because that will take less than 10 minutes if they keep killing us uh, repeatedly. I mean, if they, they really get us all the way back to the spawn, the game won't last 10 minutes. And there you have a problem because you don't get any parts. Oh, the Loran 155. I've never seen this before. Interesting. I think it's fast. Let's follow the guy. See what he does. 
interesting to see that kind of a rarity. I can tell you, my, my opinion about this event is that a lot of people will end up having the T-34E at the end of this game, uh, this, this event, but a lot of people won't have the IS-7. Because I've seen the, the, the cost of parts and it's astronomical if you want to buy a hundred. Oh, damn. Can we go through? Oh, we can! We were just not hitting right. Hello, you. He's actually went through. Ah, no, I'm hiding. Okay, he's, he's been hit. Oh, oh, oh no, yes. Command a gun on that one. <clears throat> Fortunately, the gun bridge is intact. I would have preferred to have it taken out. And then we'll try and finish off this one. Gun bridge got damaged. I think maybe not sufficiently for him not to be able to shoot us. That didn't go through. Honestly, 171 millimeters didn't go through. Gonna be more precise then. This way. <clears throat> Enemy plane. I think we can M try and MG it. Not enough to bring him down. An idle four. Ooh, haven't seen those as often. This is a rarities game. There it goes. The Crusader actually finished it off. And this is the thing. The game's gonna be over before the ten minutes are out. <laughs> now we need to. We need to. Yeah, yeah. We need to. We need six more minutes. Now, we got one enemy plane flying about. We need that one to fly for the next five minutes and a half. The people are, yeah, that, that's gonna be it. I should, I think when you see this, you should already just leave the game. Because that plane's not gonna be flying around a lot. Soon enough, it's gonna crash. And then it'll be in the spawn. There's the T T thirty four going. Yeah, I I really really have my doubts that this game will last five minutes. Kind of should maybe try and go and do some interference near their spawn, so that we don't don't finish them off. But I think that's kind of out of the question. That AMX thirteen. And that M4A1, they, they are on a killing spree and they really don't care that the time's not running out. gonna reset the stream or at least like the YouTube page where I can see the chat and there we go it's kind of had bugged out so I was just refreshing it okay so three minutes and 50 and this is also the thing that this where this um, event is anti-game because 
Like, I really wish that that guy flies, and it should be like, I want that guy to die, I want the game to end and give us a victory. But honestly, this is... Yeah, three and a half minutes. I feel like I should go B, go uh, B, uh, go... Ah, damn it. I feel like I should go and B the enemy's shield yeah see there's only three actually let's check it out with the guy Still got two guys alive, which is good. The IS-16 died, an I-16. Stop killing! Where is that guy? That's killing everything. like the timer we still have one guy alive and we require still some time we just did like one and a half minutes yeah enemy lost so that's the thing Yeah. Well, we only did 8 minutes and 40 seconds, so that's not going not to be enough. And we won't get any parts out of this game. So now I wasted 5 minutes because I didn't leave. Oh, we actually got some. Oh. But how long was it? 8.44. Huh. Maybe we can try and leave after 8 and something. So, we can actually optimize this. I've been doing 10 just to be safe. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the rocket so we can go for ground troops, but let's get to the inventory Let's get to the workshop and assembling the T-34 now for this recipe We need a gearbox. We have enough to assemble one assembling uh, the materials is instantaneous and now we'll assemble the gearbox. It'll take us one minute um, We want to talk about something during that one minute because if I go into a game, it's just gonna so, 8 minutes and 20 seconds, uh, let, let's actually, no, economics, how, how long did this last, 77, if you check the server replay, 8 minutes and 53 seconds, so 9 should be fine, but I am, I don't know if it is because it ended, but let's, let's have a look. Uh, maybe maybe it'll be enough from now on. Oh, let's get back to the inventory workshop. So after 13 seconds. So now what happens is usually you you are ha you have this going up and you are not sure if that was the right recipe or not. So you can basically after this time get a negative re response and it's finished. So you finish it and they say the assembly was successful. Okay, and now we see a whole new lot of things appearing. So now we need the uncommon armored hull. We need the cannon. We need the regular hull. Oh, oh no, this is a component. Yeah, uh, can earn in random battles. Okay, that's the component. Fair enough. So we need to do these five in total. So now we got this. It doesn't actually say. Probably once we'll have them all, there will be a, a way to assemble them to get the T-34 out of it. 
But now, yeah, for the gun, you can then have a look at the recipes. Now, we, we already determined this is the right recipe. Let's get back onto the uh, Reddit, because that's how you should do it if you don't want to get any mistake. I'm going to refresh it just in case there were some more edits. So they have a, they have a guess about the chassis. They, they hopefully they corrected the whole recipe. They're not sure. So the engine is one is correct. Uh, we have that. The transmission we have, and then the gun recipe is correct. So for the gun, we got the gun barrel, the cannon breech, the breech block, the DT machine gun, and the elevation mechanism. Now, which one is that? So if we go look at the recipes, um, yeah, I didn't see any. Ring, so we're gonna mark it anything with a spring as incorrect. Now, everything this has a periscope, so none of them actually have, have a periscope. So, this is the elevation mechanism, the DT machine gun, the breech block, cannon breech, and the gun barrel. Yeah, so that is the right recipe. This actually already starts taking up five minutes. Uh, let's see for this recipes. They take five minutes as well now here you have a oh, okay So here you start using the transmission in it and the engines as well and the armored hull But how do you get the armored hull? Oh, that's actually just an Oh, this is an uncommon component that starts dropping in the battles. So besides the materials We now have a small chance for the armored hull to drop I guess Okay, fair enough. So we could, we can be building a whole bunch of stuff. The tanker seat, the spring, the road wheels, the radio set. We'll need all of that. The periscopes, the idler wheels, gun barrels. A lot of stuff. Now I think we next we'll go for the engine. This is the obvious thing. We'll wait. Maybe we'll do, then we'll do the, um, the V2 engine block without attachments first. So let's get straight right into battle for some more and let's try and be efficient this time we'll take only nine minutes i think we could we could try and and waste maybe eight minutes and see if uh with eight minutes this is enough i think i'll do nine just to be sure we've been doing one minute to more so you can actually optimize this probably there's some forums uh forum threads that explain exactly some guy who has tried it and and knows exactly the amount but in the end the time you spend in the forum is time it is the time you could have done one or two games and gotten two parts and this is what the game wants wants you to do it wants you to, to stick around it wants you to play it wants you to spend that sweet time on war thunder we will do actually the sniping technique this time we'll stay nicely behind and uh, not go too too much upwards we don't want to get shot early on oh sorry had to mute the mic over there the drink went the wrong pipe. Whew. Feel better now. Actually, I'm gonna get right up here. Hopefully my turret will be strong enough and I'll have the reactiveness to get back into cover. So we got one guy over there. I think... 550 or 650 should be fine. Got someone near A. Try to get a quick shot over there. The Got someone over yonder. Optics are really bad here. That's someone coming over. What is that? Oh, it is a French. French Jumbo. That is a bit of a problem. So I don't think I'm, I might be able to shoot, but at, down on his upper front plates. Don't know if it's going to be enough. But I need him to to show again. Have 
bounced. Yeah. This range we have 150, so should be able to do something. Oh, I think I see an opportunity. No, that opportunity just got killed. <laughs> now we got smokes on A. Let's see. Someone behind that building, but I can't shoot it. If I stick around here, I do not know if I'll get enough activity. That is a bit of a problem, so that's why we may need more than nine minutes. Ooh, that was a good call and a good eye. Got some people near C. So I think actually since our team is getting obliterated, we will get out of here and try and take out people near C. But this sun is a oh impossible. Just give, just give my gunner some sunglasses and he'll be fine. Take this, remove this thing. That is incredibly annoying. Right, we need to get at least a kill or so. We get back in the AA always. But it's better to be safe than, sh uh, than sorry. Oh no! Where the hell is the guy? Oh, that the guy is down there? Look at how shitty this lighting is! <laughs> ah, okay, that is brilliant. Enemy playing on me. I'm gonna repair this gun breach and turret ring and then we'll be ready to engage that. M4 again But that 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 was like the sneakiest spot ever I like for for a long time. I couldn't see the guy And I imagine whatever we're doing here the amount of, of parts we're gathering that's gonna have to be repeated in high tier And this is where the shit starts to be honest I really don't know where that M4 went. We got someone on the other side over there. Let's get up here. We are we have the shadow on our side. That M10 is still alive. That's how you do it, when someone is really like wanting to show you that, hello, you know, and then finish him off. Right, so, we need to play a few more minutes, get out in the plane, potentially, I think that's what we'll do. That ASU gets a bit of a kill. Oh, that LA5 actually would have bombed me. He must have been pretty pissed. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. You think we can get actually that torpedo in the middle near B? That would have been interesting. But So that LA... Oh, we got another plane. We're going to go for that. I like this song. Just going to take... A second let's give it a thumbs up so I, I don't forget it and I don't lose it so two more minutes or three more minutes let's say two we have some amount of, uh, of points maybe if we get this plane down 
should be able to do to do with two more minutes. He's struggling. Do not know what it is. I don't know if he's going away or if he's coming towards. He's coming towards. It is a duck. Or oh, it was a duck. Damn, that was some shredding right there. This bullfighter at this at this PR is actually pretty good. I can't complain. Okay, we got a gas truck. We're gonna take that one on. Perfect. I think yeah, our twenty millimeters uh, overheated, so we are out of those. What is this thing? It's a whirly, it seems. It's fine. It's fine. We we need 40 more seconds. Actually, we don't even need that, that much. Because this is now... We are 8.30. Just to see something. Yeah, 8.55. We are back to hangar. This should be plenty. There we go, one part with uh, 8 minutes 41. So I'd say like 8.40 is good time so far to go, as long as you know you have the activity behind to back it up. Um, and that's basically it. Oh, you do maybe for 10 is what you need so that you don't get a crew lock. But it's fine. You saw they were crew locked, but they got unlocked immediately. So yeah, this is what it is, um, a lot of work to be done, honestly, if you look at the recipes, there's a lot of parts to be built, um, the gun doesn't seem so bad, but look at this thing, and you need to have the chance of getting an armored hull, so this is gonna take some while. Uh, what about the tracks? Tracks seem to be fine, but actually I think you're gonna need 20 springs or something, so... That's a lot of parts as well. They do look confusing, but I'd say you don't need any gearbox for that. <laughs> Nor a cannon. So you can like sum up pretty easily. Uh, you can see that they are not needed. But all the others is just about the amounts. Well, yeah, Caterpillar track, you need two of them. That's for sure. So even without having seen anything, you, you can get guess it. But look at that, we have one, two, three, four, five wheels on the T34E. I think actually you can take a look at it. Where is he? Oh, actually T34E is nowhere, but never mind. Let's have a look at it. Customization, one, two, three, four, five. Five wheels and that makes it 10 total. These two return rollers and the sprocket wheels. Now, if we take a look at the inventory and the workshop again, and we were at tracks. So yeah, these are the two return rollers. These only have, uh, okay, these have 12 road wheels. That's too many because we need 10. These are too little. Now the question is how many idler wheels do you have? Uh, four? The idle wheels are the ones on top and then the springs is what's gonna make the difference. So let's have a look. Huh. I'd say it's only these with the two idler wheels on the, f on the front. So the ones with the four is wrong and then the springs doesn't really matter. Let's see what they actually say on the recipe for the chassis so road wheels 10 idler wheels 2 drive wheels 2 two drive tracks and 20 springs so just like we said and here we were at the recipe is a bit fastidious to get there so this is with four idler wheels and four idler wheels they are incorrect so you have what are drive wheels they have two drive wheels two idler wheels 10 road wheels 20 springs and two caterpillar tracks this is the right recipe 
But yeah, and then you can get amuse, amuse yourself with the rest. Um, I hope you did enjoy watching this stream. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions and I'll try to answer to them to the best of my knowledge. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and see you around next time. This was Lumi. Bye.